which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord. And my father will love him and we will come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, this is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is a second. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. And the scribe said to him, Excellent teacher, you are right in saying he is the one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all our heart, with all our thoughts, and with all our strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves is worth more than any burnt offering or sacrifice. Jesus approached the insight of this answer and told him, you are not far from the reign of God. And no one had the courage to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, dear friends, we have gathered today to celebrate uh, Sunday Mass. And also part of our petition is to pray for Nanay Josefina. Ang um, narinig natin na Ibanghelyo at yung first reading, they talk about commandments. And uh, siguro mapapansin nyo sa halos lahat ng ating mga simbahan sa pinakabungad o bahagi, parte ng church lot ay merong structure na naglalagay, nakalagay doon yung Ten Commandments. Bakit nga ba? Well, we know the Ten Commandments is what we should follow. But why should we follow the Ten Commandments? Kung titignan, tatlo kasi magkakakonekta yan. Yung Ten Commandments that is part of the code, what we should be doing, what we should be acting. San nanggagaling yan? Konektado yon doon sa pinaniniwalaan natin. We believe in the profession, in this creed, Ito yung mga katotohanan ng ating pinaniniwalaan. Dahil ito yung pinaniniwalaan mo, ito yung gagawin mo. So, creed and then code. Pero may pangatlo pa. And that is cult. Ang mga pinaniniwalaan mo at ang mga ginagawa mo, konektado yan doon sa kung sino ka, yung identity mo. And yung Ten Commandments, that is part of our identity. These are the actions that we should do, a part of our identity, because this is what we believe. Maring bigyan natin ng importansya yung ikaapat, which is honor thy father and thy mother. Ang pagkakaroon ng pagmamahal, paggalang, pagrespeto sa magulang ay bahagi ng kultura natin bilang Pilipino. Kaya nga siguro ay na uh, pag-isip-isip ng mag-anak, ng pamilya na magkaroon tayo ng novena or nanay o sifina. Bilang bahagi ng ating pinaniniwalaan, kailangan nating gawin itong siyam na, na araw bahagi ng ating novena. Ano yung pinaniniwalaan natin? Ang pinaniniwalaan natin ay ito, hindi ito ang huli ng buhay. We know as Catholics and as Christians, there is eternal life. 
Pagkatapos mong mawala sa mundong ito, hindi pa ito yung katapusan dahil meron ka pang pupuntahan. Pag naghiwalay na yung katawan at kaluluwa, yung katawan na lang ang may iwan. And uh, during these moments, ang katawan nilalamayan, ang katawan ay ating uh, ilalagay sa sementeryo. Pero dahil nga sa nangyayari ngayon, kuminsan, we have to cremate our dead brothers and sisters, members of our family. Pero kahit na na-cremate sila, pinaglalamayan natin. Ang katawan na iiwan sa mundo, ang abo na iiwan sa mundo, pero yung kaluluwa may pinupuntahan na. Saan nga ba pupunta? Sana ay nakarating na ng langit. Kung di pa nakarating na ng langit, dahil may batmancha ang kaluluwa, mananatili muna sa purgatorio kung saan ay puhugasan yung kaluluwa para mawala, maalis yung mancha ng kasalanan. Bahagi ito ng paniniwala natin at bahagi ng paniniwala ang gagawin natin itong nobina. This is who we are as Catholics. Our identity, we pray for our dead. Hindi yung pagkatapos silang mawala sa mundong ito ay parang wala na rin tayong pakialam sa kanila. No. Dahil tayo ay katoliko, mahal natin sila, bahagi ng pagiging katoliko, we pray for our beloved dead. Itong siyam na araw ay may kabuluhan para sa pamilya. Ano ang kabuluhan ng siyam na araw? Siguro maaari natin tignan doon sa numerong siyam. Bakit nga ba kapag sinabi mong nubina, dapat ay siyam? Kung babalikan yung pinanggalingan ng salita, nubina, nobem, ibig sabihin Latin ng siyam. Pero meron pang mas malalim na significance yung siyam. Hindi ba't siyam na buwan sa sinapupunan ng bata bago iduwal sa mundong ito, ganun din. Kailangan natin ng siyam na araw dahil bahagi ng ating, ng ating pananiwala ang ating pinagdarasal pagkatapos nating mabuo yung siyam ay matatanggap na nila yung mercy, kapatawaran, awa, habag ng Diyos. Sana pagkatapos ng siyam na araw, sila ay iluluwal na sa kanilang tunay na tahanan. Walang iba kundi ang langit. So during these nine days that we are together, please have that singular petition in your heart. That Nanay Josefina will finally lay, be laid to rest in God's loving embrace. Dear brothers and sisters, I now invite you to please profess your faith in God. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father from all ages, God from God, Light, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, rose again the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. 
was spoken to the prophet. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to a resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are the people the Lord has saved. As we follow him along the way of faith, let us lift our hearts to the Father in prayer. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayers. Please repeat. Lord, Lord. hear our prayers. For the bishops and priests who teach and lead God's people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all judges and magistrates who administer the laws of our nation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For people suffering from failing eyesight or blindness, we pray. Lord, hear our, Lord, prayers. Hear our prayers. For joyous faith in the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. For all the sick, the bereaved, the neglected children, hardened sinners, and victims of calamities and violence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who sleep in Christ, especially Nanay Josefina, may she be allowed the mercy of the Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, as we lift our hearts to you in humble supplication, to prepare for your return to, and our return to you in love, May our gratitude for the Eucharist we are to receive be seen and expressed in the love we have for Jesus, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.